What is up in the army? I am Game on Air 5 coming at you with a new video. And if you didn't hear a couple days ago, Minecraft released Snapshot 20W06A, the first snapshot look into 1.16. And we are going to cover everything that was put in the snapshot that is new. Yeah, that um, some things are aren't really new. Well, one thing, one thing in this uh, isn't new at all. But anyway, um, before we get into all the craziness. Of course, it won't show right now, but I'm gonna cut it right here. But, um, this video is actually getting powered by our server, the Inner Village Minecraft server. So, we will have a little clip right here, uh, telling you what the server's all about. Take it away! The link for the Inner Village server will be in the description below, so go check that all that out. So, with that, let's get into it. Starting with the starting with the first couple things added into Snapshot 20W06A. We have the Crimson Stem and the Warped Stem. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just had to re-download Minecraft. Um... That also means... There we go. And this is... No, this is a to one. Done. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So, we have Crimson Stem and warped stem. Now, these are technically, um, new wood variants. And these will be in the nether. One will be in the crimson forest, and the other one will be in the warped forest. So, and along with the crimson stem, and warp the stem, you get all that stuff. So, um, we'll go through which one first. Uh, uh, well, actually, I think I set this up so I could do them both at once. So, then we have the stripped crimson stem and stripped warped stem. Now, they really are blue. Like, this one really is blue. I actually kind of like it. It actually looks very unique. Compared to the oak, it really looks nice. And then the crimson, it, it looks really, really unique and very interesting and stuff. Then we have the crimson and warped planks. New planks! Like, awesome! I love planks, along with the server. It is one of the most commonly used Floor materials in the in their village server. So it, it'll be nice seeing these, and we will probably be putting these to quite the good use. So, um, 
Then, moving on from that, there's also the Crimson Plank Stairs and Warped Stairs. Um, I actually really like the look of the stairs. They, pretty much all this I like. I really like the look of them. So, um, then we move on to the Crimson Plank Slabs and the Warped Plank Slabs. The, again, they look so unique compared to anything we've ever gotten before. Then we have the Crimson Plank Pressure Plate and Cri Warped Plank Pressure Plate. They look really nice. Of course, they have the same properties as a normal pressure plate. And I actually really like it. Then we have the trap doors. We have a blue one that is actually really, really nicely detailed. Then, now, this one reminds me of the Akasia one. That's why it reminds me of this. Why am I in caps? <laughs> Just, I think it's a little bit different. So, yeah. But, I, I like the look of it. It looks good. This one's rather unique. But they do kind of have the same s style. Just this one is more this way. This one is that way. And, uh, yeah. Then we have buttons. No, that just broke. Stop breaking things. See? Button. Button. They work. Then there's fences and gates for both. Really, really cool looking. Then there's the crim there's the Crimson Door, which uh, someone I watched um do this already. Um, he said that this one looks like a dungeon door. I actually very much agree. It does. It does look like a dungeon door. And before the one that looked like a dungeon door was first, first still looked like dungeon door being a dungeon color, but um. This one's very different, being that it has a bunch of um, marks on it. Like, if you were to make, like, if you were wanting to make, like, a very spooky look themed map, use this stuff. This stuff works. Then we have, uh, the Warp Plank Signs and Crimson Plank Signs. I actually really like the, um, way they have the, um, them into the ground. I really like them. And as you can see, the text on them actually shows up pretty well. Unlike on like the dark one, it doesn't appear. You have to use white uh, dye. So um, then you have the warped wart block. This is new. This is not new. These are technically the leaves for the new trees. So yeah, keep that in mind. So um. Then we move on to another variations of Crimson and Warp stuff. There's Crimson Nylium, which is this stuff, and Warped Nylium, which is this stuff. Then this is Fungi. This is Crimson and Warped Fungi. Then this is Crimson Roots. This is Warped Roots. This is another Sprout, and this is also another Sprout, but not in red. They don't come in red, but um, just kind of odd, but um, yeah. So, what I do want to show you is um, I actually do need these for later, so let's actually get them out. Um, near shovel. And a pickaxe. So, for the, um, 
Nej, jeg vil ikke amme. For the Nylium, you can't actually dig it with, you can't actually break, get it with a shovel. You can get it, you can't even get it with a diamond shovel. You can only get it with a pickaxe. So, I guess now when you go to the nether, you better have a pickaxe when this update goes in. So, um, that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah. It is like the dirt of the nether now for the two forests. But um yeah. I'm gonna put it into creative. Yay. Okay. Then we have weeping vines! These are weeping vines! They they're actually really really cool. Now at the moment they have no property at all other than just hanging. <laughs> but yeah. Whee! See? Nothing. And you can't even climb them. Okay, so. Mo moving on from all this stuff. We have Soul Soil! A new version of so Soul Sand. And, um. Soul Soil is actually really cool. It's in another one of the new biomes. There are three new bi biomes uh, Soul Sand Valley. Crimson Forest and Warped Forest. And um so Soul Soil it it looks really cool. It, it it is actually really really hard to tell beside um Soul Sand in the Nether. It is really hard to tell. So um I actually want to um test this being that if you don't remember Soul Sand if you walk on Soul Sand you, uh, slow. You slow down quite a bit. Um, so, so, so I want to test it if so, see, to see if, if you, if so soil had the same property. So what I did was I just set up this, so sand v so soil. So, here's so sand. And here's so soil. Let's, um, let's go over the old one first. See, we're moving relatively slow, and that was me running. See, me walking now, very, very slowly. Then, fire! Weak. <laughs> so, soil doesn't have the exact same property of soul sand. That could change. That could not change. But I do like the look of it. It does look pretty nice. So, um, with that, let's, uh, nah, it didn't work. But, um, now moving on to the next added item, fire. I love fire. <laughs> now, if we have a trusty flint and steel in this chest here, And this is normal netherrack. And if you don't know, whenever you light netherrack, it stays. You have to put it out. So, um, netherrack it is a normal fire. A new soul soil. And sand is blue fire. They won't even go on. Really? Wow. You can't, it's only soul sand. Soul soil. Odd. Really? Odd. But yeah, blue fire. And the weird thing is, I have seen a glitch that, um, you light on, when you, at the moment, when you light on fire, you're actually orange fire. It's really, really strange. So, um, yeah, moving onwards, we have new lights. And I'll compare the lights over there. I think you can probably see where I'm comparing them. Yeah, right there. <laughs> um, so, first comparison, we have shroom lights and um, glowstone. Now, glowstone, if you don't know, it can be 
kind of annoying. As when you break it, you could, like, see, I only got two. Um, with, um, with glowstone, when you break it, you only get the dust, and sometimes you don't get enough dust to make another glowstone. So, it's annoying. It annoys a lot of people. So, and with shroom lights, you just break it, and you get the actual light. It's actually really, really cool. So, let's uh, compare this now, I guess. No, no, I'll do that at the end. Then we have, um, a new variation in torches. We have normal to torch and blue fire torch. Soul fire torch. What was it called? And this is how you craft it. You literally just take soul soil, stick, and coal. See? Soul fire torch. You literally get a soul fire torch from doing that. And I actually really like it. Like, if you were doing, like, a fighting map, you could really go all out with the blue fire. Like, it, it is really cool. Then we have the brand new, um, lantern. Now, this lantern, the lantern was actually, relative. is actually still relatively new. Um, it was just added in a couple, uh... Yeah, uh, updates ago. So, um, this is a normal lantern. This is a blue. This is a soul fire lantern. So, this is how you make a soul fire lantern. Wasn't sure if I had one. And, um, in. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, the way you make a normal lantern is with a tor a normal torch. So for a soul fire lantern, you use a soul fire torch. So if I put this here, you see we get a normal lantern. I take this out, put this in, we get a soul fire lantern. And it is pretty cool. It's blue. And we will be heading into the nether. I have some more things to show in there. We have the uh, new strong material. A stronger material than diamond. Really cool. Um. Hmm. I just thought about that. I'm not going to be doing it in there. Hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So. Let's test these now. Over on our spot. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Hello. Don't mind me. I need a normal lantern. Okay. There, so that's the light comparison. That's the normal lantern, and that's the blue lantern. So, the light comparison, the normal lantern is still a lot brighter. Like, it's a lot brighter. So, it, it is kind of nice to see that they added a new light, but still, they could have made it at least a little bit brighter, because... This one is still a whole lot brighter. But, um, then you move on to the torches. I'm pretty sure it's, like, the exact same thing. So. Yeah. 
torches, the normal torch is still a lot brighter than a blue torch. So, um, yeah. The, I guess they don't want to have it be too bright, but still, they couldn't make it at least somewhat brighter than what it is. Then we have what? What else? Right. Shroom. The shroom light. And glowstone. And it looks like both the glowstone and shroom light both give off the same amount of light and, and actually the shroom light looks like it gives off actually more light. Like that actually is a lot better. I, I like sea lanterns more. I, I like these being that they look nicer. <laughs> but I wonder how much there is compared to that. Oh, it's about the exact same as that. So that's good to know. It's about the exact same as a sea lantern, but more than a more than a piece of glow star stone. Okay. Really doesn't matter, but let's do it anyway. So, with that. Let's head, actually, in to the nether. Okay. Right where we spawn on the other side. So, right here we have the three bar bi new biomes that we will go check out. We have the warp forest, the crimson forest, and soul sand valley. So, let's go check out Warped Forest first. Here's Warped Forest. This is the blue one. And these trees you can actually get by planting fungi. So, um... I actually find this kind of cool. And you want to know something funny? Uh, the, our, um, portal is actually not far from here. So... Put that, grab some bone meal, and ta-da, we made a tree. <laughs> so it's like uh, the fungi is the sapling for the um, trees of the nether, but um, I really like the look of it. Like, um, and look at all the endermen. <laughs> But yeah, the Sims to have lots of lava. <laughs> but it does look good. I, I I gotta give them credit. They did do a good job bringing life into the Nether. Hey, they did a very very well job. A very well job. Well job, Mag Mojang. Well job. <laughs> but yeah, I think they did a good job with this and um. I can't wait to actually see it in uh one point one six with every all the new mods and everything and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. But uh now moving on we need to go back. I do really like this, but we have more to sh to look at. And it looks like the normal fun the crimson also spawn here. So it's kind of interesting. So we're back. We're back here now, and let's go to Crimson, and Crimson, very red. This is the only Crimson Forest I could find, so don't judge, but, um, this, this, this one has lots of zombie pigmen in it. It really is interesting looking. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Ooh, oh. Oh, don't go in there. <laughs> don't go in there. Ah! But yeah, the, um... Crimson, I do like. Of course I like it, being that I like red. Red is my favorite color. But, um... 
I do like it, and I hope they can um find a uh make it so that it actually spawns better. This is kind of uh not that good of spawning for it, but um yeah. Like this is the only one that spawned in my in my um village, and the other one spawned multiple times. Do you see that up there? That's a new mob. We'll get to him in a bit. But yeah, that's a new mob. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's go back home. Got it. Okay. Now, as you can see, yeah, it's literally right at our spawn. Being that the fog changes when you're in the biomes. Crimson, it's a dark color. Uh, warped and uh, full sand value, it's a blue color. But they're different shades of blue. So, um, now let's head to the last new biome, full sand valley. And it is the guess my favorite spot to hang out. My God, I hate this. But there also seems to be a lot of skeletons. This is us. This is ignore that. But as you can see, there's lots of blue fire. There's also these. This is another vlog we'll be getting to in due time. But it another thing you get quite often in these in soul sand valleys is random things of bone but um another thing is that enderman skeleton they also like this area so don't come here unless you have very good stuff but yeah um Definitely different. I actually really like the look of it. But would I come here in a survival series? Probably not because there's so many flipping guests. But um, now let's move on. I'm gonna turn off mob sounds. Actually, no, I won't turn off mob sounds. But um, yeah, we have a couple new, three more new blocks. Well, one is a new ore and such. So, first things first, we have basalt. A basalt block. And this is what these are made out of. These are basalt. These are basalt. And they actually kind of have the same property as a log. Being that you could place it that way, you could place it that way, that way, that way. So the same properties as a log. So it's actually really cool. I actually really, really like it. Then after that, we have the strongest ore in all of Minecraft. Stronger than diamond, netherite. And this is netherite block. It really, really looks cool. Um... And yeah, I really like the look of netherite, and that's what the ingot looks like. T but to get netherite, you actually have to find this. You have to find ancient debris, which mining ancient debris gives you this. You need four of these, and I can't remember what they're called. You need four netherite scraps to and four gold to be able to craft netherite ingots so um and this stuff is quite rare like it is quite rare like um someone uh emptied out quite a bit in the, the person that i'm t that i watched uh do this first before i did it before i'm doing well i'm doing it right now um Um, he actually dug out a big part by deleting a lot with a command. Um, and he only found like 10 pieces.
So, pretty rare. Then, moving on, let's actually craft some. I want to show you something pretty cool. You can actually craft netherite with, uh, well, you craft netherite using four gold and four netherite scrap. But they can be in literally any, any, um, any way you want. See? See? I can also move that there. I can move this there. I can move that there. See? Still gives you another right ingot. So, and the only way you get, ne you don't, the cool thing for netherite armor, you don't need, um, the amount of, uh, Ingots that it is it takes to actually make every single piece You just need one uh, You just need how many actually you need eight Pieces to get all the netherite items being that you just need one to transform each Like uh, let's show you this right now Oh, I forgot the netherite. <laughs> so, see, with the helmet, just need one. Chest plate, only need one. Leggings, only need one. Diamond boots, only need one. A shovel, only needs one. A pickaxe, only needs one. An axe, only needs one. And a hoe only needs one. Now I forgot the sword. <laughs> so you technically need nine. Being that. No, I completely forgot to do the sword. <laughs> but yeah, it's the diamond sword. You have another right, and there you go. You have another right sword. Now, what I want to do is actually compare these, compare both. So, I'm going to put them all in my heart, hot bar, in my inventory. I'm really hating these gas. Okay, so with the uh, with the diamond helmet, you have plus two armor toughness and plus three armor. Netherite, you get plus three armor toughness, plus three armor, and plus one knockback resistance, which means you don't get flung back, which is actually pretty cool. Then it's the same with pretty much every other part. It's just one up on the armor toughness. But, um, then you get to the weapons. The attack damage for netherite, the, sho the shovel is 6.5, and the diamond shovel is 5.5. But the speed is still the same. Same for, uh, netherite is 6, diamond is 5 for the pickaxe, and their attack speed is the same. The axe is 9 for attack damage, it's actually pretty good. Then, 10 for a netherite axe. Then, 1 for a hoe. That, has, that doesn't change. Then, um, the diamond sword and netherite sword. The diamond is 7. The sword is 10. And it is 8. So, this is actually better than the sword. It ain't that weird. So, let's actually put... Netherite on. Ooh, I look good. I look good. <laughs> That's awesome. And now we have the new mob, the Hoglet. It's invisible. I want you to place. This is a Hoglet. 
Now, piglins have, are its other new mob, will be the other new mob in this update. They have not been added to the snapshot, so they will be coming in at a later date. Hi, buddy! How you doing? Now, we do know that there's supposed- I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be hostile. They ain't hostile! They do literally nothing, and they drop what run flash. Yeah. But they look really, really dumb. Kind of like, uh... <laughs> but, uh, they're really, really big. They're like a mutated pig! Oh, wait, no, that's the zombie pig man. Um... A mutated cow! That works. <laughs> Here, I have a couple friends. Oh, did I just place him out? I definitely did. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how long it takes to actually kill one. He does have a very small hitbox! Ah! <laughs> now, before we continue forward, I do want to actually show you guys something. So, I made the- I filled in the little spot with lava, and, um, a cool thing about netherite items is that they don't get burned by lava. See? They don't burn. They just lay on fire, but they don't burn. It's actually really cool. Alright, what are you looking at? Get off the edge! <laughs> now, moving onwards, and this might actually turn into something that on the server we could make into a mini game. It involves bone meal and the new block. Of the Nihilium and it's and it's like this you literally just click kind of like turf war okay <laughs> see you can actually make quite the interesting art pieces with that that's very interesting. It looks it looks really odd. <laughs> but yeah. So with that, guys, that is our um journey into snapshot twenty W something. 20W06A, that it? Yes, 20W06A. That is our jump into the snapshot. Thank you all for watching. And now, this is Game Night 5 signing off. See you later, Naomi. Stay cool and have fun. And I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later, Naomi. Peace out.